Hey tubers, sorry for the delay in getting another one of these analyses out. I've been totally slammed with work over the Christmas period. Hopefully, I'll have a bit more time over the next few weeks to do some more of these. Anyway, Michaela's dominance is something to behold. Who could challenge her in slalom right now? Not really anyone at this stage. The next best slalom skier I think is Wendy Holdner, but even she has some technique problems that she will need to fix in order to catch up to Michaela. Michaela's fundamentals are so much more sound than anyone else's in her field. So, with that said, what can Wendy do or need to change in order for her to catch up or possibly rival Michaela? Well, let's get into it. First off, Wendy has asymmetrical turns, whereas Michaela has pretty much as symmetrical turns as humanly possible. No human alive has perfectly symmetrical turns, but Michaela is close and yeah, there's not too much difference between them. So, I just wanted to compare um, a little sequence between Wendy and um, Michaela here, and I just wanted to show the, the asymmetry in, in Wendy's turns, and I think this is something that she'll need to change in order for her to actually challenge Michaela in time. And as you can see, her entry into every single left footer is inclined and rotated. So if you draw a line from her foot here straight through to her shoulder, it's pretty much in one direct line. Whereas when she turns on her right footer, so turn to the left, have a look at the difference at the top of the turn. The line, there's a big, she has a lot more angulation her feet are tipped early and she's balanced much better on the outside ski. And she develops much better separation and, and hip angulation on the right footer. We can have a look as she comes through here onto the left footer. Same thing, there's no angulation or separation on the left foot right here. And this is always making her late and, and her upper arm and inside arm always rotates back and in as she comes into this this left footer turn you can see right here her hips are twisted and she's not as bad not yeah it takes her longer to balance on her left foot in her right turn so right here we can see it again same thing you can tell with the you know the vertical back here and the, and the legs going out. You can see the angle at her hip. This side is much more pronounced. And see it again here. Just one big vertical line. So there's a big difference between from foot to foot in Wendy and she's athletic enough to pull it off but and I think she's probably by the way she skis how fast she is from edge to edge she's probably a little bit more athletic than than Michaela but she just doesn't have that you know the symmetry in her skiing so let's have a look at Michaela's turns right here so the same set of turns and we can see you can see her driving forward in the front of the boot ankles moving and, and changing edges underneath her look at that that's really just textbook edge change for short turns slalom and have a look at this already you know vertical here and edging here so good hip angulation already this good early ankle movement right here Nice, good separation, angulation, and she's going to move into the next one. You can see the same position from turn to turn. Her hip stays level, shoulders stay level, her ankles move nicely into the new turn. She doesn't really have much difference from turn to turn. Same thing here. Vertical legs going out, angulation at the hip. There's 
little to like little, slightly rotated here on the left foot at the end of the turn occasionally but I mean as far as symmetry goes it's it's really textbook skiing textbook short turn technique and this is where you're gonna see it, um, Wendy's problem come into into play is on the steeper sections and, and turnier sections here you can see everything just tilted in tipped in and inclined hip way out here which means she needs to drive her knee really hard at the end of the turn whoop, to actually get the edge on if she had if she had progressive tipping from the top of the turn with her ankles and feet like she does on this side you can see she's in a much better position on, on her right foot as every single turn it's just such a big such a big difference from turn to turn inside hand rotated back and up the hill and pretty much one vertical line from through her body here yeah. good hip angulation level hip level shoulders it's just it's really night and day how different both her turns are anyway this is this I think is probably the biggest thing that she needs to overcome in in order to challenge Michaela to to be able to stay up there with her is, is even out her and make her turns more symmetrical um, and the other thing is sometimes she holds onto the edge a little bit long but I think that's because of um, you know the asymmetry going on in her turns but you can see here really textbook slalom position in the fall line Anyway guys, um, that's it for this week. Hopefully you enjoyed that and you got a little bit out of it. Remember, if you like these things, give it a thumbs up. And remember to like, subscribe and share. Alright guys, see you next time.